Well, greetings once again, my fellow horror fanatics. Thank the Lovecraftian gods. May is over in 24 hours, less than in fat. Finally. We had one hell of a time this month, didn't we? I mean, wow, just the things that happened. Viral outbreak ongoing. Murder hornets. And now certain other unfortunate events that I really don't want to touch on. The most I'm going to say is that, you know what, looking back, maybe Tales in the Hood and Maniac Cop should have been seen as a warning sign. But moving on from that unpleasantness, before I get on to uh, unboxing this uh, horror pack I got, I want to give a huge shout out and congratulations to the homicidal homemaker who I am very proud to consider a friend. I interviewed her for House of Tortured Souls. We've interacted via Twitter and Facebook for quite a while now. She's just awesome. And to see her shouted out on Joe Bob Briggs last night was just phenomenal. And she 110 deserves it. I can think of few names in horror, well, horror social media at least, who are as creative and as hardworking as she is. She really is an inspiration. So congratulations. You deserve it. Mwah! To you. Now, on to the topic of this video, my latest horror pack, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised this arrived as soon as it did after the last one. I suspect this is June's box coming a bit early, uh, but there is ultimately only one way to find out. So, let's just get right to it. Let's see here. Eh, no paperwork, so... See what they got for us. Oh, wow. Talk about irony. Afflicted. Ew, it's digital ultraviolet, too. This terrifying horror thriller... Somehow, I'm holding my breath on that. This terrifying horror thriller follows two best friends who set out on the trip of a lifetime around the world. Their journey, documented every step of the way, soon takes a dark and unexpected turn. After an encounter with a beautiful woman in Paris, leaves one of them mysteriously afflicted. It had to be Paris, right? Winner of the Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Director at Fantastic Fest. Woo! Credentials! And recipient of awards recognition from the Toronto International Film Festival. Okay, that's actually got some legitimacy. And the Stige... Uh, Sitch's International Fantastic Film Festival, Afflicted, is one of the most suspenseful and original horror action debuts in a generation. Well, you can't blame them for talking themselves up. I mean, obviously they gotta do that. But uh, as far as uh, all that boasting, you know, just... Eh, we'll see. Oh, baby. Lake Placid Legacy. Now... I'm actually just going to have to say that, in my opinion, Alligator was the best giant gator movie of all time. Yes, it's a schlock fest. That's why I love it. And it's actually got some incredibly good creature reveal shots. You know, Lake Placid and everything that came after, they're just imitating. But uh, nonetheless, Lake Placid was a pretty good movie up until C. Fee got its hooks in the franchise and did Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Oh, Robert England, why did you pimp yourself out like that? When a group of young explorers ventures to a mysterious lake, they discover an island harboring an abandoned lab facility. <laughs> With a horrific legacy, the island is home to a deadly predator. Before they can turn back, the crew gets dragged into a battle for their lives. Former enemies will quickly need to put their egos aside and work together if there is any hope of survival. <laughs> Boy, they must have read my mind because I was just complimenting Alligator, and that's basically Alligator's plot in a nutshell the whole genetic manipulation thing, but it is such a trope, done to death, and I know it works, but it, I mean, it can be so tricky to get it just right, otherwise you're going to end up with pure unadulterated crap, like uh, Alligator 2 the Mutation, which by the way, I also love just because it's so goddamn corny. By the way, if there's one thing I remember about gangs in the 80s and the 90s, they cared about pollution! So, let's see here. Oh, boy. If you like The Godfather, you're going to love this. Horsehead. <laughs> Plagued by recurring nightmares, Jessica has begun studying psychophysiology, try saying that three times fast, 
of dreams in an attempt to understand them. When her grandmother dies, Jessica returns to her family home in the French country, again with France, where she receives a muted reception from her icy mother. After a difficult first night, Jessica becomes feverish and uses her bedridden state to practice the art of lucid dreaming. As Jessica's skills as a lucid dreamer improve, put that on the resume, she soon discovers that dark secrets run deep in her bloodline and that they all lead to the monstrous horse head. <laughs> wow. Um, way to, you know, give it all away there. Um, I'm not opposed to the idea of a horse-headed monster used in horror. And actually, I seem to recall in the 90s there was a Hellraiser comic where Pinhead actually had a lover, a Cenobite whose head was a horse head. Look it up, it's pretty damn good. And we have family possessions, as if you could not tell what the plot here is. A young girl, Rachel Dunn, Girdan, inherits the mansion of her estranged grandmother. Oh boy, it's house. Rachel and her family move into the house to, to start a new life, but once there, strange and unexplained occurrences begin to happen. Rachel uncovers a secret that had been hidden from her, and she soon realizes that some family secret should remain buried. Um, technically, I guess it's buried, not buried. Don't ask me why we pronounce it like that here in the States. But, um, you know, Horror Pack, once again, I will include a link to them in my description bar. You know, during these times where we're social distancing and keeping ourselves locked indoors quite a bit, it's actually a pretty nice service, and it does have an interesting variety, even though, as I mentioned before, they do send movies that you've probably already seen, and some that you're going to regret ever seeing. But still, shout out to them, because it is a great service. I highly recommend, particularly if you can get it as a gift and not have to pay for it. <laughs> I'm such a weasel. But, um, you know, again, just in these uncertain times, I want to close out by saying, please, everyone, be safe, okay? Continue to wear a mask, continue to wash your hands frequently, and if you're living in certain areas, just stay indoors right now, you know, it's, don't, don't stir shit up. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing, because in these times, you really can't guarantee anything, and you know, we of the horror community, I feel, have a very special bond all with each other, and that's what we all need to do right now, is come together, look out for each other. So, as always, I want to recommend you check out the House That Screams podcast, where I'm a frequent guest. Uh, we'll be starting a new season soon. Keep an eye for my articles on House of Tortured Souls. And, uh, as always, eat, drink, and be scary, and enjoy. <laughs>